All right, hi guys. Today we're gonna do a dishwashing demo for you from our brand new kitchen so you can get an idea of what it looks like to wash dishes in our new kitchens um, and what we expect from you when you are actually in our classroom. So we have to hand wash our dishes. We don't have a dishwasher to do that for us. And we need to make sure we do that really well um, because there are lots of people that will come into contact with our dishes and we wanna make sure that they're clean. Okay, so things we're gonna talk about, how to set up our dishwashing stations here at school, um, what we're gonna do to prep our dishes and make sure that they're ready to be cleaned, the order of washing dishes. Sometimes it doesn't always work out in our classroom because we kind of have to clean as we go, but we're gonna tell you what we should be doing when we're washing dishes in the order that we do them in, how we're gonna wash our sharp knives, and then just some basic things you need to know about dishwashing, whether you're doing it at home or you're doing it at school. Okay, so um, we have our sinks, so we have two-sided sinks. Um, the first thing is that when we're setting up our dishwashing station, uh, we want to make sure we're setting it up so we're moving left to right or we're moving right to left. And that's going to be up to you. I prefer to go left to right, um, so I will have my dishes on the left side of my sink and I will work to the right from there. Um, when we set up our dishwashing stations underneath your sinks, you're going to have, this is a drying rack and this is a tray. The tray is important that we put it down first on the countertop. That catches all the water from our dripping dishes. If you don't have it, it's a mess and the water goes everywhere. And then we set the rack right on top of that tray. Our dishes will go in here once we've rinsed the dishes after we've washed them, okay? Then we're gonna set up our sink. I'm actually gonna set up this sink right here um, with hot water, as hot as you can handle. If the water is too hot and you can't put your hands in it, then it's not going to make a difference because you won't be able to wash the dish. And if it's too cold, it's not going to kill um, the germs and clean the dishes the way that we want it to. So we're gonna set it up that way. I'm gonna actually fill that sink right now and put a little bit of soap into it. You don't have to put a lot of soap in, but a little bit, and I'll fill it up about halfway. So I'm gonna get that going right now. You may remember if you had healthy living in the past that we actually use tubs in our sinks. We're not going to do that um, in our new sinks. We're actually just going to use the sink itself. Make sure your water is hot before you start to fill it. That is something that we're going to check if you are washing dishes. Okay, so I'm gonna fill my sink about halfway. You will have dish soap underneath all of your sinks you have a run out, let us know, we'll restock it for you. And I'm gonna put a little bit in and splash it around. So I'm prepping my sink right now. I've already got my drying rack out, getting the water ready. While that's going, you're gonna have other people in your group who are going to be able to go and get your washcloths, which look like this. They are small towels, okay? And then you're gonna have drying towels that look about this size. Do not grab pot holders or anything like that to try and wash dishes. We want to make sure we use a washcloth to wash and a drying towel to dry. So I'm going to have that set up. Someone in your group can go get that for you while you're prepping everything else. So I have my water about halfway full. So some of the things we do now to prep our dishes, um, as we're using dishes and prepping food, um, as we're finishing with dishes, things that you can do are clean off your dishes when you're done with them. So if I have a bowl and I just had food in the bowl, I'm going to make sure that I grab the garbage and I scrape everything into the garbage that I possibly can. I do not want this food going down the drains of my sink. Um, we're not going to use the garbage disposals as much as possible, so we're going to try and get as much as we can into that garbage and we don't want to put dirty dishes into our clean water either. So we want to get as much of that food out of there as we possibly can. The other thing is in our new kitchens, we have sprayers. We're not going to use them unless instructed by one of your teachers. So those sprayers are going to be off limit for the time being. And so after I scraped my dish, I got my dishwash washing station set up. I'm gonna make sure there's no clutter. So anything, first of all, you shouldn't have any personal items in the kitchen, not cinch sacks. You shouldn't have your computers in here. There should be nothing else out here except what we were using when we were making food. You should at this point have thrown out all any garbage that you may have had on your sink, and you should have all those dishes set up, ready to go, 
either on your left side or your right side of your sink. So there should not be any extra clutter out on the countertop at this time. So as we go through, we're gonna make sure that we wash, we rinse, we put it in the drying rack for it to be dried, and then we dry it. Um, something else before I start to wash, I'm gonna make sure that the dishes stay outside of the water. I'm gonna keep them set up out here so that we don't get a bunch of um, things in the, the water that could possibly break. Um, possible knives in there, we, that's dangerous. So we don't wanna just throw a bunch in here. We're just gonna grab a dish, wash it as we go, dry it, or rinse it, put it in here and then dry it. So we're not gonna stack a bunch of stuff into the water. So I'm gonna start washing. And some of the things you need to remember is the order of washing dishes, okay? And the reason why is because there are certain things that as they touch our mouth, we want them to be the cleanest. Okay, and then there's certain things like pots and pans that are super dirty and hot and we need to leave them until the end. So the order that I'm gonna wash dishes and I'm gonna do them, wash them as I'm telling you what they are. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is a sharp knife. Okay, and the reason why is a sharp knife is a little bit different. We never drop a sharp knife into our actual water. So we are going to hold it by the handle, okay? And I'm gonna use the doll side, is right here. I'm gonna make sure I wipe from the doll side. So I'm gonna dip it into the water. I'm gonna wash it from the doll side. I'm still gonna hold it, I'm going to rinse it, and then I'm gonna put it right into the drying rack where whoever is drying the dishes for that day can also grab it by the handle and dry it, okay? Then the next thing are things that touch our mouth, okay? So the things that touch our mouth, cups, silverware, things like that. We want them to be very clean, go into the hottest water, go into the cleanest water because they are going to touch our mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my silverware. And when you wash silverware, you need to make sure that you're not just dipping and moving it around in the water. You need to actually take your washcloth and wipe the silverware very well and make sure you get everything off of it. I always kind of dip it back in to wash. Wipe it, okay. And then I'm gonna rinse it with hot water again, as hot as you can handle. Make sure I rinse it really well. Do not leave soap on your dishes. We need to make sure that we're rinsing that soap off of there um, as well as we can. And then I'm gonna take my cup. The other thing with washing a cup, you need to make sure that as you wash the cup, you are washing really well around the rim of the cup because that is where our mouth goes, okay? And then I'm going to get inside of the cup as well. I'm gonna make sure I rinse everything off of it and put it into the rack, okay? We should always put it into the rack. Don't set it back down in the sink. Don't set it on the counter. Put it on the rack and the person who is drying can grab it out of the rack and dry from there, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do are plates and bowls. So things we eat off of, plates, bowls, small plates, whatever those might be. I'm gonna start with my large plate. And things to remember with your large plate is you should not only wipe the side where the food goes, but the backside as well, because if we've stacked our dishes, the backside probably got pretty dirty as well. So I'm gonna put this in and wash both sides, make sure it's clean, turn my water on, get that soap off really well. And if I stack the dishes the right way into the drying rack, that water's gonna drip right off of it for me. You shouldn't put a plate in flat, okay? You should stack it up nicely and then that water will just come off. And next is my bowl. I'm gonna make sure I wipe that again, front side and back side, because if we stacked it, it's going to be dirty. Rinse it really well. Again, stack it nicely in there and that water will drip right off of it. So the next step are things that we use to prep our meal. So maybe that's a mixing bowl, uh, maybe that's measuring cups, Eat each other utensils that we use. I'm gonna wash those next. These can be really messy. So for example, you made pancakes, you had pancake batter in here. Um, you scraped out as much as you could into the garbage. One thing you might wanna do is just take it before you put it into your soapy water and rinse it out a little bit so we don't put all of that, all that pancake batter into our clean water, okay? So I'm gonna go into the water, wash my mixing bowl really well rinse. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my measuring cup. 
Um, make sure you get in those measuring cups really well. Oftentimes there's things that are left down inside in the corners because we didn't wash it very well. And then put that into our drying rack. So right now I'm gonna check my water. I'm gonna make sure that my water's hot, my water's clean, because if it's not, it's really not gonna help us to wash dishes. So make sure everything's good. I might change it out if it's too dirty or too cold and put new water in. You can always do that. Um, if it's clean and it's hot still, you're fine. So the last thing, always last, we do pots and pans. And the reason we do that is one, they're usually hot from cooking, and two, they're usually the yuckiest and the dirtiest. So we wanna make sure we scrape those out really well. Maybe we rinse those out in the other side of the sink, make sure they're cool enough for us to cook, and then we're going to wash those, okay? So I'm gonna put those in. Pans are also something that sometimes we struggle with cleaning as well as we should. We will probably have some um, scrub pads for you to use for our pots and pans. Hopefully we'll have those. If you are ever having a hard time cleaning your pan and you just can't get it, please let us know. Don't put it away dirty or kind of dirty because you think you can't clean it. You need to let us know so that we can come and either help you or tell you what it is that you need to do to clean your pan, okay? So I'm also gonna clean, the, I have a pot. I'm gonna clean that out. Make sure I get in and around the corners really well, the back side of it, and rinse. So again, if you stack everything in here nicely, some of that water is going to come off of there so that when we dry dishes, it's going to be okay. Okay, so just some basic review things from washing dishes. Um, things you wanna do to set up beforehand, uh, make sure you have your dishes stacked and ready, your drying rack, your hot water, as hot as you can handle it with your soap in it. Um, we're not using the sprayer, make sure that stays where it's supposed to go. And then just make sure you're scraping your dishes, putting all of that into the garbage. Um, make sure we're rinsing as we go through really well. Those of you that are in the group, if you notice that maybe your dishwasher is missing something as they're rinsing, you can let them know. Or maybe they miss something on a plate as you're drying it, give it back to them. They can wash it and rinse it again and give it back. Sometimes they might miss that. So you can help them out and let them know and just make sure we don't put dirty dishes away, okay? So the last thing is drying. If you are the person who is drying for the day, please make sure you dry them well. Uh, we don't like to put wet dishes back into the cupboards. So we're gonna take this pan, I'm gonna make sure I go around it really well. You can even dry it and set it here while you dry a few things and then put them away. So I just did both of my pans, okay? They're both dried really well. They're not dripping at all. And I'm gonna put those back into the cupboard where they go. Okay. I've got my mixing bowl. Again, I'm gonna go inside of the bowl really well, make sure I get it. And my measuring cup again. So I get inside of it really well. So one typical thing we've always had in the past is we get a lot of drippy bowls and a lot of wet plates that get put back and stacked up. So make sure those are really dry. People putting them away, make sure they're really dry because the next hour does not want to have a wet plate. Okay. So as you're drying those cups, get inside. Make sure you dry them really well. And then silverware. So I've got my silverware. I need to go over the entire piece of silverware to get it dry. And I've got my drawer right here for that. And put it away. And then the sharp knife. So again, just like I washed it on the dull side, I'm just gonna go over it very slowly and carefully. And then I'm gonna put my sharp knife away. Okay. All right, so those are the basics of the actual dishwashing part of it. You also have to clean up your station when you're done. So once all of those dishes are done and put away, we have to put all of our dishwashing stuff away. So we have the drying rack. So I have the rack. This should be full of water from um, the, dry, the dishes that were in it before we dried it. So I'm gonna dump that into the water and I'm going to dry that off. To dry the rack a little bit 
and then I'm gonna put those away under my sink. take my washcloth and I'm going to wipe down my entire countertop that we used while we were preparing our food and washing dishes. So I'm going to make sure that's really clean. Then I'll let my water out of my sink. So that drains down. As that's going, I'm going to clean out the other side of the sink and make sure that's nice and clean as well. Make sure all the soap is out of the side of the sink where I just washed my dishes. Okay, and then when that's done, I'm going to make sure everything's wiped. I'm going to take my towel and just kind of go over my countertop where I just kind of wiped and cleaned everything around the silver at the top of your sink. So nothing's dripping and wet. I'm going to put my soap away under my sink and then I'm going to go put my dish rag and my towel um, in the spot where we tell you to put them. Usually we'll have a laundry basket for dirty stuff and you need to make sure you put that in before you go. Okay, so when you leave, this is what your countertop should look like. There should not be anything on it. There shouldn't be any soap. There should be no wet puddles on your sink. Um, make sure everything's dry and set and ready to go for the next class. Okay, all right, so those are your basics for dishwashing. Um, have fun.